Hey guys, this is Protoballer14 here, and today I'm going to do the GeForce Grills review. I've played a couple games with these, and I'm in love with them. Uh, first we'll do the pros, then we'll do the cons, and I'll show you how to disassemble them, which is very, very easy. And it should be a quick video. Uh, one of the nice things about it is it's got the bounce factor uh, grill. As you can see, that's going to cause a bounce very easy. It's very flexible and obviously very breathable, as you can see here. You can hear a lot better than most of the mass with this. Another nice thing is the ease of disassembly, which is a tab right there and right there now when I get to the disassembly part of this I will show you how to and it's very quick um, very simple another thing I like is on the dash strap, dash strap it's got this almost like glue and it's sticky and it's nice because it will grab onto your hair back of your head or hat what we use really nice to prevent slipping. Another good thing about it, very, very compact, small and lightweight. Very good foam. You see? And if I can get the bag out, it came in. Comes in a nice protective goggle bag. Which is like microfiber. It also comes with a visor, which all you have to do is put in those little holes. And done, except for the top one. Okay. Well, you get the point. But that'll get rid of that bubble there, which is one of my dislikes. Don't like the bubble there because when you get bunkered there, very much hurts. This visor takes away that. Okay, easy as that. It also comes with a chin strap, which I do not have with me. You just put it onto these little tabs there on both sides. I give this mask a 9 out of 10 because it's very really lightweight, breathable, flexible. Easy to maintain and high quality. Uh, the only reason I give it a nine is price is a little high at seventy bucks. I think they probably could have done fifty on these, but well worth it. So to take it apart, what you gotta do is first take your sharp ears out, which are nice because they are labeled left and right, so you don't get them mixed up. And there will be little clips. On the inside, right there. You just undo those. And first couple times it may be tough, but I figured out that if you push forward first, then squeeze it and pull out, it's much easier than just trying to squeeze in there. Once you take your strap out, you go to the sides and take these little clips out, which are also labeled. Left and right, in that little circle there. And then you are fully exposed to your goggles. One there, and one there. Your goggle lens fly out. And that's all you will really have to do is wipe down the lens, get in the crack where the foam is. And that's pretty much it. Now, if you want to take your foam out, all you do is take a screwdriver that one, get it to unlock, get this one to unlock, and simply pull out. Your foam will pop out, and you are left with the shell. Put it back in, you just do reverse order, mask in, put that down. 
sometimes if you don't hold it, the bead will come out. No problem. Yeah. Bring it back up. Bring it down in. Real quick, so it's the unlocked wrist. And I pop the phone back in. Then all you have to do is lock the seal. So I'll lock this one. Put your lenses back in. Put your clip in the lens holder. Then take your strap, put it into the top. into the back and simply clip them back up. This is the V4 Skills Review.